what is going on my fellow wet shavers uh, i've got another uh, shave for you today i've got two days of growth um, so that is uh, plenty of uh, whiskers to mow down today um, i've got a new razor for you today it is the razor rock game changer now i've got it disassembled for a reason I've got the super knurled hander, handle hander. It is three and a half inches long. These are basically like inch sections and then a half inch up here. Um, the knurling on this thing is very, very nice. Um, it's got a nice weight. I believe it's like 82 grams. Um, it's like 2.9 ounces. Um, so it's got a pretty nice weight to it. The reason I've got it disassembled um, right now is because the base plate is a little bit strange in the fact that the little knobs you can see right there those little knobs are usually on the top cap so you actually load this blade I, I don't like it like this it's very strange but you load the blade onto the base plate instead of the top cap I'm going to try and do this it'll be a little dangerous but I'm going to try to do this on camera so you put that on there like that the blade and then you put the top cap on like this just like that I, I'm not a big fan of that but you know it is what it is it's unique I'll give it that so then that just fastens on right here and let's see the blade looks very good line pretty well uh, so as you can see it is a polished finish um, all around it has uh, this is the 0.84 uh, base plate they also have a 0.68 base plate uh, which is a little more or less less aggressive more mild um, this one I find to be perfect um, this also has a serial number on it and it is made in Canada um, altogether, it's a very, very solid razor, very nice weight, um, very nice, very attractive razor. Um, it's a beautiful shaver. Uh, so that will be a treat today. And I am, I've got my declaration grooming, oh shoot, I put the wrong lid on the container. This is the correct lid for my Yuzu Rose Patchouli. I've got it loaded up. So let's see. Uh, it smells just like you think Yuzu Rose and Patchouli. It's got that sweetness, that light, sweet scent of the rose, and then that earthiness of the patchouli. Um, so let's see. So here is my, <laughs> get my thumbnail here. Uh, very cool shave today. I'm almost out. I am. This will be my first soap that I probably finish. Um, this was one of my first, a uh, really true. This was the first. That was the first soap I ever bought. When I was getting in here. Um, I had two that were given to me, uh, Barber Shop by Sterling and Cheshire by Barrister and Man. Um, that was my first soap, so that's why it's so low. Anyways. I'm going to get lathered up and I will see you on the other side. All right, guys, my camera is still shaking, so I apologize, but I'm back. And look at this lather. I mean, I, this, this soap, I mean, it needs to go. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't need to be said, but Declaration Grooming has absolutely stellar soaps. Um, their um, milkshake base came out when I was uh, fairly new into this. Um, and this was the first one, like I said, that I picked up. And it sold out the, the whole stock that they had initially on this release. It was back in November, I think. The whole stock sold out uh, within at least an hour, if not sooner. And it goes without saying, this is the best soap. It's It probably set the standard because... After Milk State come, came out, uh, all, all these different artisans started coming out with uh, very good soaps as well. But this was one of the first that came out with that. 
just banger soap. And uh, so a little bit about this razor. What it's actually made out of is um, marine grade, marine grade uh, stainless steel. Uh, this retails for about sixty-five dollars. Or at least that's what I saw it on Italian Barber. Just before they shave. I'm using one of my favorite blades, the Paul Silver. Effortlessly smooth. Sadly discontinued. So yeah, this razor, um, 316 stainless steel now. This game changer's kind of claim to fame is that it's able to provide amazing quality um, at a very, very discounted price from something comparable. And on the website, it says that it's the same level quality as a razor that is four to eight, four to six times, I think, the price. While I do think that this razor is a good bang for your buck, I do not believe that. You've got the 6S, the 316. All insanely good razors with insanely good quality that are all 316 and they're not anywhere close to four to six times the price. So I'm not gonna buy that per se, but it's a very, very good quality razor. No machining marks, CNC milled. It's a great product, four to six times the price. That's a little bit of a stretch. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and we'll go for round number two. Missed a spot right here, but I'll get that in this pass. Um, just a quick little side note. Uh, I want to thank or shout out C I M C D B. Uh, he made a beat video uh, that was out today, and he was talking, or a couple days ago, I think, and he was talking about new wet shavers and a lot of people coming into the hobby. Uh, and, well, I should say contributors. Uh, there's a lot of old blood that's, you know, been making videos forever and um, the need for new wet shavers. Young blood, as he said. Um, and now he's been watching some new wet shavers and how it's a good thing and they're contributing. And so I just wanted to say and build off that point that, um, you know, that's the whole reason, I, I commented on that video, but that's the whole reason that I'm doing this. Um, it's not to please anyone. Um, I'm not looking for anyone's approval. Um, yes, I want you guys to enjoy this, but I'm doing this because I, I enjoy this and I like helping other people. Um, I know that I'm very, very new and my base isn't that big, but that doesn't matter. I'm doing this, I'm having fun. I'm trying new products, and I'm just enjoying the shave. And I hope, I really hope, um, and I know that uh, CDB is, you know, he had went through some stuff. He's over that, and now he is just enjoying the shave. And that, that is just awesome. Good for him. I'm so happy for him. I love watching his videos. So keep it up, CDB. 
Um, so I'm back to the shave. Um, over the past, I saw on Reddit, there was a, a thread that linked to a conversation about skipping the across the green pass. So I was intrigued. So I said, why don't I give that a shot? Just to see, because if I can make this process faster, which I don't necessarily want, but in case I'm in a rush and I need to do a quick shave, if I could skip a whole pass, that would be very useful. So I tried it and it did not work for me. And when I say it didn't work, uh, I was bleeding a lot. <laughs> um, I wish it would have worked. That would have been a nice little hack, but uh, my hair is just not there yet. Um, for the second pass, I've got to get it down a little shorter. For some people it worked and that's great. More power to you. If I could do it, I would, but I can't. That's not necessarily a bad thing because I always make sure that I have enough time to shave um, and I just really enjoy it anyways. So I'm not necessarily looking to speed it up, but some people are and that's okay. That didn't work for me, but who knows? Maybe you can give it a try, see how that works. Don't blame me if you start bleeding. I bled as well, and I found out it didn't work. For me. Rinse this off, go for a third pass. So my final thoughts on this razor, it's an, it's a winner in my book. Great price tag, 65 bucks for what it's, I mean, solid stainless steel. Um, I love the knurled handle. Now, I don't think the regular one comes with it. You can order that as an option on Italian Barber. Uh, I'm sure you can get it on Maggard razors or whatever vendor you use. It's very widely available. So I would definitely recommend checking it out if you can. Um, great construction, great product. This on the 0.84 is the perfect aggression for me. Uh, for me, I don't like Mula R41 aggression. And I'm not too big of a fan um, with too mild either. Um, I And a lot of razors for me that I tried are in that sweet spot. So it's not very often where I find a razor is too mild for me because I do like the comfort over the aggression and that harshness. That's mostly why I don't use feather blades too often, unless I know the razor is really mild. Um, I, I just tried the Morcor 34C, which I'll be reviewing soon. And that was a pretty mild razor. I haven't tried a feather blade in it, um, which I definitely will, um, just to see if I can get a little more efficiency out of it. If I start cutting myself, I won't use it because my goal is an irritation-free shave. And if I have to go over a spot a couple times in order to not slice myself with a feather blade, then I'll do it. Um, I just have to try and see if the, if the Mercor is a good pairing with the feather. Other than that, the, the Mercor is a very smooth, I won't get into it, but it's very smooth and mild. 
This has a .68 plate with it, uh, which I have not tried because I've been enjoying the 8.4 blade gap too much. I figured there really wasn't a need to try it because this 84 is perfectly smooth and efficient. Whoa, got really high there. Okay. Yikes, put that back on the brush. I got a little lather happy there. So for those of you who may be wondering why I'm re-lathering, is because For my against the grain pass, I like a thick lather. I like as much protection as I can get on this because if I don't, I will get irritation. And I prefer my skin to look not irritated, as I'm sure many of you will agree. And for me to get that result, I have to do this. Just got a notification on my phone. Someone called me, I will have to call them back. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I mean, look at this. It's unreal. This lather is unreal. Just phenomenal. Okay. I'm always learning on how to best shave my face. Uh, I just found a way to get this a little better, not here. Let me just get that out of the way. Distracting. Okay. Oh my gosh. Jeez, so many notifications. Okay. Uh, not here, this little concave part, uh, but here. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, so for here, what I do is I just kind of go down. I can't get right in here. Well, let me try it. Let's see how it goes. Let's do this on camera. I might not be able to get away with that with a different blade, but apparently with this combo, it worked. I'm surprised at that. The other side is where I have most of the problems, so. Let's see how that turns out. Here we go. See, I can't just go straight up on this side. I've got to go. I've got to go diagonal. And then here, I've got to go this way. So my hair on this side is just a mess.
All right, let's try this. I don't think this is gonna go well. Okay, I stand corrected. The question is, are these going to be ingrown? That's the real question. Um, I want to have high hopes. That was incredibly smooth. Let's wash this off. Okay, now let's do just a touch up if needed. Let's see. That is feeling really good right right here. I always need to get um, right here. Right here a little bit. And right here. Okay. So this is just a light sprinkling here. This is where it's really okay for me to have a light lather. <clears throat> this is not, because my it's just so slick. Beautiful. All right. Let's wash it off with cold water. So the last time I tried to get here, I think I just didn't have enough experience. It was a long time ago. Um, so maybe I'm guessing my technique has got to the point where I can get that without irritating, but we will see tomorrow. Uh, or in the next day or two, how that goes. But if that works right here, that will change everything. Because I would always have just, you know, spots here. But that is crazy smooth. So you guys just witnessed probably history for me. Um, so let's put on a splash. Okay, let's see. What do I want? Uh, I'm going to go with my favorite scent of all time, probably 2020, and we're just getting started. Nor at Vanille, it is black tea, strawberry, vanilla, bergamot, goodness. Oh, man. Oh, man, yeah. That is awesome. So I probably got the best shave I've had in a while with this game changer, so... It's a phenomenal razor. Um, yeah, nothing but good things to say about it. Nick myself just a little bit there. Paul Silver Blades, knock it out of the park. Um, it's a great combo. Um, it's definitely up there on one of my my more favorite razors, I would say. Uh, very comfortable, beautiful handle, good weight. It checks off almost all the boxes. My smallest complaint is Oh, no blade overhang at all. I've grown to like that. Um, although some doesn't bother me. But that little top cap thing on how you load the blade, um, it kind of bothers me a little bit. See, look, I'm taking this off and the blade is coming with it. Don't really like that. See, look, I just, it's, it's everywhere. So that's kind of dangerous, but it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, I've kept you guys too long. I gotta deal with this blade. I cut myself. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you thought. Um, if you've experienced this razor before, let me know what you think of it as well. Um, I've got a couple new things coming up. I got Williams Mug Soap, um, Recur 34C that I'm gonna be reviewing, so stay tuned for that. And without further ado, I will see you next time. 
Tchau.